Oda Nova, two years ago, said, Worst one I know of is an acquaintance of mine came home from work one day and found his missus having with his dad. That blew up all over Facebook and became a local drama fest where people tried to organize a shunning of the dad and missus. I remember it well because, well, I know people cheat, but with your partner's father? Come on. I mean, like, fair. I would be absolutely gooped. I wouldn't even... What do you even say at that point? What do you even say? The betrayal from two people. It's so bad I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. Well, maybe. <laughs> Just kidding. Price. Oh. The entire five and your fucking price. Oh boy. Oh, my dude's in trouble. The entire five for the past year. You want me to show you all the messages yet? You have said her and me. So you ain't been seeing us for the last two years. We've been together on and off, Kelvin. Along with Kerry. Along with Kerry. Along with Kerry. Who's filming right now? You're you I'm wearing my duple somewhere. Yeah, you're I'm Emily. I'm Emily at Weston Travel Lodge. Yes, you know. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, it was, a, it was like a third one that came in right at the end there. Dude, that's, that's bad. That's a bad one right there. That's a, that's a, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> like, no. Just like, it's man, like, you were so screwed. Like, yeah, I love when he's trying to, like, talk his way out of it a little bit. Like, no, man, like, you just need to, like, cut your losses and be like, I am so sorry that I did this to all of you. Like, I am such an ass and just leave. That's it. That's, like, you're done. You're done. Oh, yeah. Why would you? I would not. I would not. I wouldn't do that if there was no camera, but let alone on camera? No way. I don't know. I feel like this happens too often. <laughs> Joe Cool 418 two years ago, wife was acting unusual for a few weeks. She would want to spend time by herself on the weekends, and when she came home at night from work, she would often sit in the driveway for 20 minutes on the phone. I'm not dumb. I bought a voice activated digital recorder and stuck it in her car. I knew what I needed to know in less than 24 hours. Oh, dang. All right. Are we, the legalities of that are a little murky, I will admit, but hey, this isn't like a criminal prosecution. You just wanted some evidence to know if she was being faithful. Also, like you already knew, if you're resorting to a digital recorder in the car, the trust just isn't there. Whether she's cheating or not at that point, like, it doesn't even matter, I feel like, because you clearly just, the trust is gone. And I don't blame you. I mean, I agree. You're not dumb. The signs were there, and you picked up on them. So I just called my husband getting out the hotel with another woman. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And here's the car and the lady he was in the hotel with. Both of them say they're having problems. Who's out here? Huh? You gonna make sure you know? You better know? Refuses to go on camera too. Man, I feel for these people. Like, if all, if this stuff is real and like this does look pretty real to me, like ah, this is just like so sad. You know, it's just like that that one person who is like like you're waiting at home and like your husband like literally out at a hotel with another human being like without you knowing like lying to you. Like it's just like it honestly like it's just it's just sad. It's just sad. I lose faith in humanity when I see stuff like this, guys. It's it's too bad. I hate it. All? Oh my god, he's covering her eyes. She thinks she's getting a sick surprise right now. I don't understand. I don't even understand how that's possible, just like scheduling wise. <laughs> Impressive, ah. huh? Oh, very impressive, yes. 
Also, are they not like, where did you go for two hours? Like, you know what I mean? Like you didn't, re you weren't around, you didn't reply to my text messages. I got a lot of logistics questions about that one. I don't even know how that's possible. Man, one is more than enough for me. I'm, I'm keeping up, barely. <laughs> Head case and a half, lots of awards, nice. June 1st, 2018, normal day, a Friday. My husband had kissed me goodbye and gone to work. I was cleaning the house for company who was coming to stay the weekend. The doorbell rang. There was a man at my door who introduced himself as the husband of a woman who my husband worked with. He was there to tell me that my husband and his wife were having an affair. No. All right, dang, that would be hard. I can't believe he showed up and did it in person. I mean, he wanted to have a gossip sesh. He had busted them about six months prior and had told his wife that she had to end the affair. He thinks that she did end it for about three months, but then they started up again. When he found out they were at it again, he called my husband because he knew if he confronted him in person, he'd be in a jail cell for what he'd have done, fair enough. On the phone, he told my husband to leave his wife alone or else he would come and tell me everything that was happening. Apparently, my husband thought he was bluffing. Why would you think that a man's bluffing? Why would you think that? He's clearly got nothing to lose. Also, I can't believe that he didn't tell you for six months. I would have told you the minute I found out, you know? So I was literally the last to know. My husband never came home again. He got an Airbnb and a lawyer. The divorce was December 21st, 2018. We'd been together for 24 years. Still hurts. Dang, head case and a half. That sucks. I'm really sorry that after 24 years, someone would do you like that. That's rude AF. And yeah, being the last to know sucks, man. I really, I empathize for your situation, head case. I hope that you're doing better. And I also hope that you found somebody who appreciates you more, cause that's rude. He's rude. And I wish like not that the other husband did anything wrong. Like the one whose wife was cheating on him, not the <laughs> cheater husband. Like not that he did anything wrong, but I do wish that he would have told you when he first found out, you know? Again, like he's not the one who's in the wrong here. He's the victim on the receiving end as well. But I just wish you got to know sooner. You don't even know how to clean. You don't plug, you don't support any of my businesses. You don't do shit, bro. Ain't nothing special about you except that you're carrying my baby. Oh, well. There's nothing special about you, bro. Honestly, there's not. There's not. This nothing, is bro. aggressive. Like, I, like, you just, every day you make me miserable. Every day you argue. Every day is something, bro. No, like, I don't. Yes, every day is something new, bro. I could be sitting there. You just automatically, bro, just bring some shit. Doesn't even have to do with any of the uh, today, bro. This it's is so the much. Past. Live in the future, bro. The past is the past when it was four days ago. Uh, okay, well, first off, like, I didn't see anybody who was cheating right there. Like, I don't know if, like, if he just got caught cheating and this is his response, like, dude, like you, you are getting a dumb, you are getting the freaking chopping block, like, immediately, as you should anyways, because you got caught cheating. But, like, I, I didn't even see any cheating going on right there, guys. So, it's like, if this was just a conversation, like, if you believe all of those things, if you're just like, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing blah, blah, blah. I mean, I think it's time to leave, <laughs> you know? Like, if, if all of those things are true and you feel that inherently inside yourself, I do believe it is time to move on and pick a better partner, more pick a better partner, excuse me, more suited to you. Because clearly, whatever this is, it ain't working. I'm her soulmate. Where's she at? She's a fucking. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not laughing at this situation, it's terrible, but like there's just something so f hilarious about that. That's so messed up. Even older people are cheating. Is there any peace at any point in time? Man, and he was ruthless, but uh, what else do you say? When you catch your partner on a date with somebody else, I mean, I probably wouldn't say the nicest things either, but that person would not be getting up from the, I would be like, no, enjoy your date, finish it, have a good time. I just wanted you to know that I know. Anyway. See you. Hope it works out for you both. All right, the Luo. Dated a girl for about two years. Like 18 months into the relationship, we're talking about moving in together. Then kinda out of nowhere, she starts becoming distant and irritable. We ended up breaking up. Fast forward three months after the breakup, I found that Facebook had a section where messages from non-friends are kept. Turns out my then GF was banging her ex and the UPS driver that delivered to her store at the mall. So random. She ended up getting with the UPS driver and his three kids. Last I checked, they're blank miserable and it brings 
brings me joy every time I think about it. Edit, in my messages was a note from the UPS driver's then wife. My ex not only cheated, but broke up a marriage. Dang, she saw the story and she knew. She was like, this certainly sounds familiar. Dang, the UPS driver's so random. Like he barely made it in this story. You know, he just happened, he just happened to deliver to her store at the mall. What are the odds? I was at home. Really? Because I, I was, was at here. home. No, you weren't because I was here. I checked your fucking cell locations and you turned them off. Something and then I saw a fucking up. video no, no, no. of you. No, 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 no. I saw yeah, a video of you now, making out with all the fucking bits. Really? Yeah. You know, By who? Your best well, fucking friend. He fucking showed me. What'd you show her? A video on my phone. Wow. So he's not in this. Just oh, know that I know. So I learned some new shit every day about me. That's Yeah, obviously because you're acting stupid. Huh. <laughs> you're acting stupid. Huh. What? No. I don't know why you're yelling. Because no you point. cheated on me. I don't no. care this. You gotta yes, believe Everything. Literally, okay, first off, like, if she has evidence, dude, I never understand these people who it's like, they're lying, but it's like, they literally know. Like, they have the, the proof, like, well, how do you expect this to go? It's like, they'll be like, oh, okay, never mind, yeah, I totally forgot about all that stuff. Like, no, dude, like, I saw, like, I saw the freaking evidence, like, it happened, man. And it's like, you just, you gotta own up to it at that point. It's like, I understand you're out with the boys right now, you're drinking beer, it's like, whatever. No, be a freaking man for once in your life, and just, like, own up to that, like, Ridiculous. You have Instagram with me? Seriously, stop lying. Who are you texting? I'm on Instagram. Yo, stop lying. Who are you texting? I'm on Instagram. Really? Yeah. You got to call it that needle. Instagram has eggplants, right? Wow. Turn around, look. 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 Oh my gosh. Why do people lie and cheat? It's just rude. It's just rude and you're bound to get caught. What's gonna happen? She's pregnant, but he can't have kids. And this happens. I'm talking about. I'm sitting here acting stupid because you sit up. No, this is what the I'm talking about right there. That. That's what I'm talking about. That. Yeah. You're not happy? Yeah, what you mean I'm not happy? What I'll be happy for? What could I possibly be happy for? Dang. Is there like, I honestly have no idea anything about that. I mean, I don't know why I would. Is there like, after that procedure is done, is there like any chance? Is it like 0. 0.000? I sound stupid? No, you sound like a cheating ass. What you sound like to me? Cheater? Yeah. I only Who got been you pregnant? You? What are you talking about? Who got you pregnant? I've only been with you. Who got you pregnant? You. How? How? Okay. I can't have no kids. I have a whole vasectomy. You, you do know. No, it can't. My is slipped. Wait, wait, wait. It cannot happen again. Cause I'm, I'm genuinely asking. Like I really, I mean, not well versed in that procedure personally. <laughs> I don't know, Chris. Do you know after you get a vasectomy, is there like, is it like you 100% cannot, or is there like a slim chance that you could? No, you can't. You can't. You reverse it. Unless you reverse it. Unless you reverse it. There we have it, folks. <laughs> The man has spoken. Dr. Chris, he's here to save the day. So yeah, that you got some splaining to do then, lady. I don't know. That, <laughs> I don't know. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> SCM8809, this is almost word for word how the convo went. Me, you sleeping with so-and-so? Her, yeah. Me, want a divorce? Her, kinda. Me, okay, I'll file tomorrow. Cat4Y7, I like how simple that went. Sometimes it's just done, you know? But I'm curious, was it really as short as it sounds? Like neither of you, like neither of you make it worse? Then the original says, oh yeah, it was a super civil conversation. We were just both at a point where we were just tired. Let's just rip the bandaid off and get it over with. I mean, fair enough, man. Sometimes you just gotta be honest. And I think that like, if she's sleeping with somebody else and you obviously know, and uh, she clearly doesn't care that you know, like, and she's not gonna say anything clearly cause she's resorted to cheating, which is so rude. And like, she's just waiting for you to be like, so do you wanna, like she's waiting for you to initiate the hard conversation. But I don't know, you know what I mean? That's what people do. People who cheat are afraid of having a hard conversation is really what's going on there. Cause you could just like break up or talk about like redefining the boundaries in your relationship, but they just choose to be deceitful and rude instead. Oh, just caught David in the bathroom. What is that? What is that? My guy looks guilty right now. That's real great. Oh. 
Y'all got anything? Is that the other one? one? Wow, that was it. That was literally it. That is a face of pure guilt, guys. Like that, <laughs> like, I know it's it's so sad because like literally like people's lives are ruined right now. But it's like that face right there, that needs to be a meme. Like that, somebody please make that into a meme. Like it's like, you just got caught. Like you just got caught so red-handed. Yeah, you're finished. Girlfriend got a nigga at her crib, right? I just looked in the window, they in their sleep. So guess what I do? Oh, Put shit on my tow truck. Okay, that's like legitimately hilarious. This bitch with this nigga with this raggly ass car. You know what I'm saying? Do not cheat on a man with a tow truck. <laughs> that's so funny. Honestly, I would be lying if I said I wouldn't do that too. That would be me. What else can you do? You know? <laughs> that's hilarious. Where the hell is my car? Charming Trash Boy says, I didn't catch her, she told me, and told me I wasn't a real man, and that's why she did it. Okay, seems like if you're gonna cheat, you might not wanna be rude as well. She just told me everything she hated about me, went on to why I'm worthless, pulled over, kicked me out of the car, and I had to walk back to my place. As far as my reaction went, I went home, cried, went to bed, stayed in bed for a few days, thought I was a terrible person for a few weeks, cut my holiday leave short, and went back to work early to get my mind off things. Edit, this was a while ago now and I'm definitely in a much better place in my life. She is saying all of those things to you to make herself feel better and so that you didn't get mad at her for cheating. You, she's not cheating on you because you're worthless or terrible. She's cheating on you because she's an asshole. So now you want to tell me you're not sleeping with my husband? Is that what you want to tell me right now? Seriously, Lacey? Lacey, you're sitting in my husband's <laughs> car. <laughs> car at 11 o'clock at night, so drunk he's got to take you home. Here he comes. We'll get his version of it, too. Uh -oh. So now you uh -oh. want to tell me that this isn't happening? Yeah, look at him for comfort, honey. Look at my husband for comfort. Why? Why? Why do you think this sticky. girl's called Last Call Lacey? Why do you think she's called that guy? She sits in bars late at night with other people's husband and, and pounces on them. Wow. Wow, okay, well, why, okay, first question here. Why is your husband alone drinking at a bar, like, at 11 at night or whenever this is? You know, it's like, that, like, if, if he's doing that, like, let's face it, guys, that's a bit of a red flag right there. If your husband's straight up, like, going to a bar by himself and drinking, I think that's a bit of a red flag. And then, obviously, like, this is probably going to be something that comes from that. So it's like, if, literally, like, this, this should have been avoided. We should have avoided this. This is my son. What? This is my son. Savage. Did she get called out by the neighbor kids? <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Well, I mean, when the guy sees that ring doorbell footage, he's gonna be like, well, good to know that people in the neighborhood have my back. <laughs> like, respect to that. <laughs> that's so funny. KJV1984 says, I caught my wife after she passed away from cancer. Worst feeling ever. Caught between unending love, mourning, and absolute anger. Dang. That's crazy. How did you find out? Jelly Fugee X says. KJV, the original poster, her phone that she was overly protective of is how I found out a week before she passed. I took the passwords off her phone so I could respond to her texts and take care of her business. After she passed, maybe a week or two after I explored her phone and found numerous texts and emails and blanking. Dang, that's really tough. That's really tough. I have never thought about anybody being in that kind of a situation before. Yeah, I think all of those feelings are really valid. You know, I can imagine what she was going through before, you know, being sick and before passing away and stuff. So I think that there's like a little grace in that situation, but at the same time, somebody's there for you in a really terrible moment and I don't think that the right thing to do would to be to betray that person's like love and care, you know? Dang, that really sucks. It's like a really real world situation there. To say that I need to stop putting all our business on social media, but I do it because of the cheater. Oh. And I know I shouldn't keep oh. taking his dumb back, but I do with my dumb We got the flip phone. Open his pockets and look what I found. Some Planned Parenthood 
condoms. You know the condoms that you still can't with yet. That and a, a whole new phone. Like where did this phone come from? Literally a new phone. Okay, I was my guy's cheap. <laughs> my guy, cause I, I feel like this was not filmed during the flip phone times. It feels like my guy was just like, I just need a phone strictly to cheat. And my guy went on eBay and bought like the cheapest thing he could, like five dollar flip phone right now. Like, wow, okay, well I mean maybe maybe that says something about like who he's going out with right now, you know? It's like just just throwing that out there guys. But yeah, this looks like pretty pretty clear evidence to me that something's going on. I'm hanging out with a guy, and he keeps asking why my bracelet is flashing. This just explains why so many people nowadays have trust issues. And if Thank you don't you. know what this is about, let me explain that for you. Her bracelet is connected to somebody else's bracelet. Maybe her husband, her fiancé, her boyfriend, something like that. And whenever he is touching his bracelet, hers will light up, even if she's that on is a date with another up, dude. Man. Like, why? Why would you have some cute sh like that just to... Go around cheating. Also to make a TikTok about it? No shame. People seriously have no shame. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I Why cheat? Just don't be in a relationship. You don't or like just don't be in a monogamous relationship. If you want to be with other people, there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to communicate that. You can't just do it in secret. It's not fair. It's rude. Alive in Joburg too not one, two, says he took a phone call from her in front of me and because I guess he thought he was being slick, he started flirting with her in front of me. That's stupid. He ended up blankly harassing me after the relationship was over and I got him in hot water for that. He never did it again and was told if he even talked to me again, he'd get fired. I ended up leaving that job a few months later. Dang, you dodged a bullet, girl. He sounds like a real piece of work. I am glad that you are not there anymore. Ew. He started flirting with her in front of you and then was weird to you at work? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, we got, the, we got these emojis going on right now. What's happening? I'm coming to New York. This is my boyfriend. You want to come to New York? Do you want to tell me who you are? Who does she know? It's Do you want to tell me who you are? Yeah, you back up now. Tell me who you are. I, I want to know if she knows. Like, maybe she's just as, like, blindfolded as the other person. Like, maybe she has no idea that this guy has a boyfriend. Potentially. I, I don't know. I'm trying, trying to play devil's advocate right here. Um, clearly, my dude, though, is, like, very much in the wrong. I don't even know why, like, literally the person behind the camera isn't even talking to her boyfriend, her boyfriend right now, even though he's the one out cheating. Like, maybe this lady has no idea. She's just along for the ride, you know? I, that's who I'd be going after. It's like, you got to go after the guy who's literally doing the cheating. You sit on the couch like, like, like this shit normal, man. This is yeah. a whole other thing. I ain't even this size, bro. I look how big these clothes are. This ain't, this ain't my shit, bro. Like, like come on. Like, what if I do to deserve that shit, though, while I say I don't want that Keep it. Get out. Fuck you, nigga. I, mean, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going no fucking where. I pay, I pay the fucking bills in this house. Get out. I just want to know why. I mean, that really is what it is. Like, people get mad that they get caught, and then instead of just like owning up to things and apologizing, they just get angry and react. And a lot of times, people regret those reactions that they had. Why? Like, why the fuck was you? Why? why? Like, yeah. all I do is go to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah. I'm not fucking going to somewhere. Go somewhere. Man, she got me fucked up, man. I gotta get my this motherfucker first time I get out. Man, no fucking get out. My fucking shit. What you nigga? Look at her, y'all. Look. She just want to kick it out now because she caught. So she's talking about get out. Look at her. She's just on the phone like she don't give a fuck. Bro. I watch this um, like British reality show. It's like these rich British people and whatever. And then right now on this season, everyone's just cheating on everybody. Like everyone who's been together for so long is getting cheated on and stuff like that. And like this one girl, like this one guy confronts his girlfriend because he thinks like she was doing something weird. And he was like, hey, this was fun and I feel like you maybe cheated on me. And then she just like lashes out and is like, I'm, I'm dumping you. And then just like leaves and gets angry. Like what in the world? And they were together for like 10 years. I mean, it was a rocky history, but still like, what, what do you want? It's not, you have to talk about things. I mean, that's the whole point of being, well, not the whole point, but it's like a really important part of being in a relationship is like talking about the things, figuring it out, owning up to your own mistakes and learning from them. Sometimes you do wrong stuff, okay? I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. 
I do a lot of wrong stuff sometimes, but some t when somebody calls you out, you just gotta go, you know what, you're right, I f***ed up. I f***ed up, Chris. You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Skyfall524 says, she and her secret fella bumped into my mom and dad while canoodling about in the city. That's so hilarious. That karma is absolutely insane. I want to know what the parents said. I hope the parents confronted them. I can't even imagine. Like if that was Taylor, which for the record, I know it would never be, but if that was Taylor and my dad bumped into him, like <laughs> at that point, I wouldn't even feel bad for me. I would feel bad for Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know what the parents said, what they did. I've got some questions. I understand. You're young. We're going to make mistakes, but I wouldn't make a mistake like that, right? Uh oh. Uh -oh. I we make a mistake. I think we like might have made a mistake. Your heart hit my stomach, man. You out of everybody. Uh oh. Do you think you mind that shit, right? I can't believe you. I would hurt. I don't care. Uh, okay, so I imagine that my dude cheated and he was trying everything he could. He literally got on all fours right there and was begging. I mean, man, like, damage done. You know, like, damage has been done. I understand we all make mistakes, but there's some things. It's just like, in a relationship, guys, like, that is a level inside. I guess it depends on the relationship, but it's like, gotta be built on trust. And it's like, if I can't trust you, like, it's like, if you're gonna go ahead and do something like that, just like, that's it. You know, like, that's the end. That's gotta be the end. This how you do, though? Yeah! Why? What you mean don't do that? You get caught up. You get caught up. Move. You get caught up. Oh, that was me the whole time. That's not called with action. you mean? You Oh, dang. This is not good. So he like catfished her or whatever to see if she was cheating? I mean, I don't think that that's the right way to go about it either, to try and like catch them in a lie. But I feel like if you're scheming like that, maybe you already knew something was up. Make sure that I went. That's what you get. No. Don't play on my phone. Don't play on my phone. That's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. You ain't know what. Don't move. Don't grab that shit. Move. That's my phone. No, it ain't. Use a damn lie. I don't know. Just don't cheat and things will be better. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Hippie Geek says, I was in the Navy and was out on deployment for six months after just recently getting engaged. It's one of those stupid things that young military guys do. One day I get a letter from my fiance's best friend telling me that she caught my fiance and her BF together. This was years before email and smartphones were common. We write back and forth several times and eventually it comes out how she caught them, how my fiance begged her not to tell me and that the fiance didn't know that we were corresponding. I eventually get back to the States and plan to play it off as though I didn't know, but too many of my friends intercepted me with the news that it wasn't just with one guy, but several, and let me know that she knew that I was aware. Eventually we met and the confrontation was minimal and tame. We broke off the engagement without a lot of drama. She kept the ring. The best friend and I ended up hooking up, at first sort of as revenge blank kind of thing, but turned serious. We celebrate our 32nd wedding anniversary this year. Oh my gosh, edit maths. This year will be 31. After 20, it's all a blur. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Man, it worked out in the end. It worked out in the end. Also, she kept the ring. What the hell? I don't know about that, man. She was cheating on you while you were just like in active duty. <laughs> like, no way, lady. Give me back that ring. I'm not letting you take it to the pawn shop. No way. Somebody man cheating and I'm uh -oh. snitching. If your boyfriend was just on a flight from LAX to Dallas, he cheating. So let me tell you what this man was doing. So I was sitting behind him. He was in seat 19E and he was on Instagram DMing some girl, Julia or something like that. Unsending messages talking about some I love you, baby. I'm on the way. I'll see you tomorrow. And then after he unsent the messages, he went to his feed and viewed somebody's story, another story, and gonna reply to it, talking about some good morning, beautiful. And then proceeded to call somebody whose name was beautiful in his phone. He had a dollar sign and an 844 tattoo behind his left ear. He also had an evil eye on his right arm, which I'm confused about. Oh man, okay, yeah, that was, you know, I, off the top, I was like, oh, maybe that guy's in the clear. Maybe he was just messaging his girlfriend. But it was, it was the DM. Maybe though, maybe it was his mom. <laughs> you know, it's like, maybe it's like, hello, like a weird, a little bit of a weird thing to say to your mom, but it's like, you know, hello, beautiful. 
Mother? That's something that somebody might say, you know, it's like, your sister? I don't know guys, I'm trying to do anything to like, vindicate my guy right now, but I feel like he's probably guilty.